Hey guys, um, so my footage got deleted, um, for the beginning and the ending of this video, sadly, and I didn't want to just, you know, cut to the, like, I thought I should have an intro to this video. So yeah, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm doing this makeup look that you're gonna see in a little bit. <laughs> Anyway, before we get started, um, I wanted to mention that this look was inspired by Princess Hope on Instagram, the look that she did. You can check out her Instagram. I'll have her name down below along with all the products that I use in this video. Um, so yeah. So I already did my brows and my right eye off camera and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, how to do the left eye. Um, so I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette and also the um, BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette because um, it's a colorful look. I'm starting with my um, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to put this and I'm going to take this small little Real Techniques brush and blend it in. To make everything easier to blend, I'm going to go ahead and set that with the Morphe E23 brush and I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35B palette as you can see I've used this one a lot <laughs> I'm going to use this shade and this shade mixed to the white and a light nude this is just going to make the colors easier to blend and the white is going to help the other colors to pop for blending in the crease I'm mainly going to be using the Morphe M513 brush as you can see I've already used it on my other eye I'm going to start with the blue these two right here and then we're going to just blend that into the crease. It's okay if it gets a little bit messy on the edges because we'll clean that up later. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this blue color right here. And we're going to focus this um, right on the like inside. Like right below that other blue shade that we put down. I really like this palette. It was super inexpensive. I think it was around $12. Um, I use it all the time for like all my colored looks. Oh yeah, I'm also going to use one shade from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette, sorry. I'm going to use this shade right here. This is going to go right above the blue and like blend into the blue. Now it's time to cut the crease. So I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again. And I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. And we're going to use this. Brush by Morphe. It's the M432 brush. As you can see, it's really nice and flat and it's perfect for carving things out. I normally use this to carve out my brows or to do cut creases. If you can't find where you should cut the crease, just go ahead and open your eye and when you see that um, line cross over, that's exactly where you want to make the line. So this line right here is where I'm going to go off of. Remember that this is not a full cut crease, it's like a half, so just stop like about um, three quarters of the way. Taking this random little Morphe brush, um, does not have a number on it because it came in a set, I'm going to take this yellow color from the Take Me to Brazil palette, and I'm going to take this color from the Morphe 35 b I'm trying not to open my eye too much because I'm not setting the... Um, concealer because we want all the pigment from these colors to stick to it so don't set the concealer and we're going to take this yellow about halfway through the cut crease not the lid but the cut crease and now I'm putting orange on the second half now I'm going to go ahead and take this makeup wipe and we're going to wipe up any fallout that we had Always make sure to wipe off your fallout because you don't want that mixing in with your foundation. For mascara, I'm going to be using this eyelash curler and this Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Volume Express. This is like my third time using it and I actually really like it. Um, definitely would recommend. Now I'm going to apply these Ardell Wispies in 601 to my eyelashes, obviously. All right, so now we can go ahead and move on to the face. If you clean your beauty blender after each time you use it, I have so much respect for you. 
Um, but not enough for myself because I don't do that. First, I'm going to prime my face with the Professional Pearl Primer by Benefit, and then I'm going to take the Milani Prime Light Face Primer and put that on top. And this one's like a strobing one. This one's like a pore taker, pore minimizer one. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Alright, so now we're going to put on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. Don't really love to use this concealer, but I'm going to give it another shot. Alright, so now we're going to put on the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. Don't really love to use this concealer, but I'm going to give it another shot. Right now I'm only going to set my under eyes, like the very under eye part, because I'm going to do some cream contouring. So we're just going to set these first. Never set your face before you like cream contour that area because it will look cakey and it, it just it doesn't end up good. And I'm using the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder with this undampened beauty blender. only setting right under my eyes to stop it from keep creasing. And Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick in the shade Where's Walnut. I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with that banana powder because I'm that pale. And then we can move on to contour and blush and highlight. Now I'm going to go ahead and put blush on. I'm going to use the California blush by Benefit. So I some like, oh it smells so good. Kind of matches the orange tone in my eyeshadow. It's a huge thing a lot of people forget to make their blush correspond with their eyeshadow looks. You'd think they do. Why do I keep dropping stuff? Now I'm going to use the Essence Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder. I actually really, really like this powder. Um, it's really nice. Oh, and I used the Morphe M530 for my blush. I'm going to use the Morphe R10 for my bronzer slash contour. And now I'm going to go ahead and bake. This powder is so good for baking. The Brighten Up Banana Powder. Super good for it. And I'm using the same Morphe sponge that I used for my foundation and concealer. Look a little bit crazy right now, but we're going to go ahead and finish off the eyes really quickly. I'm just going to do the same thing I did on top, but on bottom. I'm going to put like the orange and yellow right in the inner part and the blue on the outer part. Okay guys, so I'm having a little bit of an issue again. I'm really, really sorry. This won't happen again, um, hopefully. But basically, like I said, the beginning and end of my video got um, deleted because I had to um, refilm like the beginning and the ending. And when I went to go um, put in the ending, I realized that it didn't get any of my lips or my highlight or me basically finishing off the video. I will have all the products listed down below, um, everything from the final result, but I thought that you seeing the eye look was better than nothing. So yeah, I'm really sorry that that happened. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.